So tax time is approaching. You're a small business owner. You know that you should have been doing that bookkeeping all year long, keeping up on those receipts, categorizing them, paying attention to your expenses and your income, but you didn't. So what do you do now? Today I'm going to show you a really easy way to track your expenses and your income, just like a bookkeeper does in Excel. This involves just downloading your bank transactions, categorizing them all. It's quick and easy and will get you ready in no time for taxes. This took me less than an hour. So I would say just calendar block a little bit of time, an hour or two, get this done and you will feel so much better. And this does work the best if your business is pretty small and pretty simple. So I'm talking like one or two bank accounts and probably less than a hundred transactions per month. And if you're just starting out, depending on your type of business, you may only have as few as like 20 transactions a month, depending on, you know, what type of business you are and how digital you are, if you have inventory and that kind of thing. So I'd recommend keeping the categories as simple as possible. So the whole point of a profit and loss statement, which is what you're making, is to give you a picture of your business finances and also so that you can easily put in categories for your taxes. So if you have an accountant or if even if you're doing your own taxes using like TurboTax or Tax Act, it's going to ask you how much did you spend on office supplies? How much did you spend on equipment? How did you spend how much did you spend on cost of goods? And so you just need to have the totals for all of those. All right, and I know I'm biased, but you might want to consider hiring a bookkeeper next year. A bookkeeper will just give you a overall picture of your finances and be able to keep up on things as the year goes on. So you know, like how much cash you have on hand and that kind of thing. And a lot of business owners are perfectly capable of doing their own bookkeeping, but they just prioritize other things. So I see that time and time again with clients, and then sometimes they just get farther and farther behind, and then it costs more time and money to catch up. So it might be worth your while just to invest in someone to help you out with that at this point early on. Bookkeepers can also take away other tasks. I haven't really said this on YouTube yet, but the reason I named my business Fine Points is my like little tagline is, I'll take care of the fine points of your business. I'll take care of the details so that you don't have to worry about it and you can continue to run your business. So bookkeepers can also help you pay bills monthly. They can help you with budgeting for per month or per year. If you have payroll, a bookkeeper can process that as well. And then once your business is fairly well established, you need to start paying quarterly taxes. So I do have a whole video I'll link below that talks about quarterly taxes. So your taxes will be based on your income the previous year. And typically people will split it up into four chunks and pay it quarterly. And you can get penalties from the IRS if you do not pay the right, correct amount of taxes. If you do want to do your own books, that's perfectly fine. If you know you're going to keep up on it or if you have a person that'll help, um, I, I would definitely recommend getting QuickBooks. I have a link down below that'll get you a great deal on QuickBooks. It's pretty easy to learn and, and there are some tutorials in there also that you can utilize. So check that out if you're interested and definitely subscribe to my channel because I help small business owners organize their finances. I help bookkeepers with their bookkeeping business. I would love it if you guys give this video a thumbs up. That helps me a ton as well as share this with a business owner who you think might be helpful by it. I know there's tons of people out there that are thinking that they need to do this, but they're avoiding it. So I'd say just do it. You got it. All right. So the first thing you want to do is go into the account that you are going to download your first account that you want to work on. And somewhere on your bank's website, there's going to be a download button. So you can have to search around and find it. Here's what mine looks like right now. It's just a little download arrow. And then it says download account activity. All right, and then there is going to be a file type, so you want to find an Excel document. You can also, they have Quicken ones on this website, or the QuickBooks, which is what you do if you are using QuickBooks. So for this example, we're just doing an Excel document, and then we're going to do a date range. So we're going to do everything from last year. All right, so then you have this Excel document, and I deleted a couple of the columns that weren't necessary, and hit a little bit just for a little more um, confidentiality. But basically, um, this column tells you if it was a check or a debit, then the date is very important, and then this description is going to help me decide what it is, and then of course the amount is very important. So then I'm just going to go through and start categorizing these. So I know that this check was a reimbursement for supplies. Before you start, maybe go into TurboTax or Tax Act or whatever program you're using and look at the categories they're asking for. Usually they're pretty 
um, consistent across different platforms because they all come from the IRS. So you can see the types of categories that they're looking for. So they're looking for advertising, business travel, commissions, communications, and probably more than half of these won't really apply to your business, but just get an idea, kind of highlight the ones that you know apply to you, and then use, if you use the same terminology as the IRS is looking for, it's just gonna make your job easier in the long run. That was supplies as well. All right, and I know this big one is income. And these are wages. All right, and then what I would do next is I would, let's title this category. So I would sort by category. Okay, so it's under data, then filter, and then it gives you these little drop-down arrows, and you can select certain ones if you want, or in this case, I'm just gonna sort them A to Z just so that they'll all be grouped together. And then I can start and start looking for the totals for each of these categories, because that's what I'm really looking for. So how much did we spend on advertising? How much did we spend on bank fees? How much did we spend on field trips, etc. So you can see most of the transactions, not most of the amount, but most of them are supplies, and then wages are the highest. So then I'm just gonna start putting my totals. Um, I can maybe do it in this category, in this column. So, and I'm just gonna hit the bottom one right here. Mm -hmm. And then this button will give me the sum. Say okay, and then I can just highlight these ones and I th usually it's pretty smart okay and then it gives me the total here so this is all my advertising total and then I'll just continue to do that for each one bank fees And there are certain rules about meals, so you want to make sure that you are following the IRS's guidelines on this. So office parties, like a Christmas party, is covered 100%, and then other than that, meals are 50%. And they have to be with a client or with someone from your business. And I did kind of alter these so these numbers are not totally correct, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of this process. So when you go to fill out your tax forms and the IRS asks you, how much did you spend on advertising? You'd put in this number, 685. And in essence, you can kind of make your own profit and loss statement if you want. <laughs> this is obviously skewed but you know you can total this if you want m7 through m10 yes so that's correct and then your bottom line would of course be the income minus The top line minus the expenses. So in this fictional business, this is our profit. And sometimes I do like to format the cells so that they look like money. <laughs> I just right clicked on it and then it'll open a box and allow me to select what format I want it in. Two decimal places with the money symbol. You can see my business is making $69,000. So that really is bookkeeping on the very most basic level. So you can definitely buy programs like QuickBooks to do this more efficiently and more quickly and as you go. But sometimes if you have a tiny business with only a few transactions per month and you're trying to save costs wherever possible, it's totally fine and totally correct to do this in a program like Excel where you can just do the totals of each of your categories.